beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful weekly twin flame reading it's going to be for the week of the 30th of october to the 5th of november 2023 so this week we're coming into november november new fresh month um so make sure that you do look out for the november reading because it will be up this week because the 1st of November is on Wednesday and I usually like to get that up just before we actually go into the 1st. So I'm going to be using um, for this reading um, Angelic Love Relationship Oracle Cards. This beautiful deck that Stacey um, gifted me last week and I'm going to be using the Soul Connections When Two Hearts Meet for this weekly reading also. I do hope you're all well and that you are staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing because, you know, things could be full on for you because we're in that full moon energy in Taurus um, and it's the lunar eclipse also. Um, that reading is now up if you're interested as well to help you understand what it is that you could be working through, what you're actually feeling at this time, what you're being pushed to release also. So let's see what it is that's coming through for this week of us entering a new beautiful month of November. <laughs> what are the energies going to be for Twin Flames and how are these energies going to be supporting the beautiful soul that is watching? Nice, clear message. What's coming through? Let's see. This week of the 30th to the 5th of no 30th of October, sorry, and the, to the 5th of November 2023. Arrival. Love may be just around the corner. Arrival. So some you're going to be receiving something this week. Love has arrived. And that's because it's you you found it within yourself. You're responding with love in all situations in your life. This is what you've learnt. <laughs> so that's beautiful something could be showing up this could be uh, a surprise this could be your twin flame <laughs> um but yeah something is arriving because you've arrived you're you're in your power now beautiful soul you're going to feel this this week and you know it, you through this full moon in taurus lunar eclipse you could have felt quite lost because of the deep emotions like it was drowning but it's like whew, you're, you're really showing up for yourself now you've arrived and that's because of of love <laughs> um, but there's going to be arrivals of love you know abundance of in, in in so many different ways you're going to be receiving miracles blessings good fortune and that's happening to you all the time it says that you haven't been arrived, you, you haven't been there in this place of love. You haven't arrived then, but now you have. That's, I don't hope that makes any sense, guys. I hope I haven't confused you. Disagreements, agree to disagree, yeah. Letting go of disagreements and, ups, and understanding that when you have a disagreement with somebody else, it's always coming from ego anyway. You don't have to have disagreements. You don't need to put your energy in and try and, and prove that you're right. <laughs> That's the only right way we have disagreements is when we're coming from fear and we think that we've got to fight our corner. We feel as if we've got to really um, prove ourselves. We, you know, as if, you know, because of this fear that we're not good enough. But when you actually know that you're good enough and when, when you're with yourself... There's no point in these disagreements. You don't see the disagreements anyway because you're you know, coming from this divine mind. Huh. Agree to disagree. So very powerful. So any disagreements, I feel, because um, you're showing up, that everything is going to be resolved. The disagreements that you've had with yourself, disagreements with people around you, it's all going to be resolved this week. And that is a blessing. That is bringing peace to you. That is love showing up for you, arriving for you. So letting go, yeah, letting go of these disagreements with yourself, letting go of 
the disagreements with others as well. Letting go is some, sometimes necessary, yeah. And do you know what? The ego wants to come in with these disagreements or, you know, when we're having, you know, these upsets with people, it comes in, doesn't it? Because we want to prove our point. It gets so uptight and you have this niggle within you. <laughs> And the only way why we behave like that is because we're unsure of ourselves, because we're not feeling secure within ourselves. But you're letting go of all that. And because you're letting go of all that, um, which is all lower, dense energy, is that low vibration, something is arriving for you, arrival of something. But it's you arriving. Um, it's what I, what I feel that's coming through in this channeling today. Curiosity. Learn to be curious about each other. Mm -hmm curiosity so you could be feeling quite curious this week as well so maybe something is going to show up for you this week and you're very curious about it or you're very curious this week um because something happens maybe with your twin flame something goes on this week where you is bringing this curiosity and it's, it's a good thing to have to be curious because usually what we automatically do is just freak out about certain things and deal with it from this place of fear. When something happens, you know, we're like, oh, we think the worst. It's better to be curious, learn to be curious, to look deeper, to see the bigger picture, as I always say to you. And it's about you learning more about each other. You could be this week. <laughs> Um, so let's see what comes through with the soul connections when two hearts meet. Um, let's see, I'm very interested. What else is coming through for this week of the 30th to the 5th of... 30th, sorry, of October to the 5th of November 2023. You cannot believe um, how quickly this year has gone and that we are in, going to be in the 11th month. Mm. so much has happened for 2023 as i said it's recently it's been about expansion you've shifted so much and it couldn't you know may not have felt pleasant at the time but you definitely have so that one did a somersault so i'm going to say uh, take that sorry not say it rejoice it's time to rejoice to celebrate something's happening where you're going to be feeling like jumping in the air because of what you're you've been letting go of of in on your journey and making peace hmm. with these disagreements that you may have had before or that maybe that you're just going to be coming from this place if somebody wants to have an argument with you you're just not going to put your energy into it and you're going to feel so good mm. it's time to rejoice to celebrate you and this arrival whatever that is but it's really a rival of yourself. You're showing up for yourself because of the letting go. What else is coming through for this 30th of October to the 5th of November 2023? What is it you need to know? Beautiful soul that's watching. And how are these energies going to be supporting you? Boundaries. You've made these boundaries. Having sensible boundaries is important. And putting these boundaries in place could have been an absolute challenge for you nightmare at the time you found it a, a, a struggle but these boundaries i feel are in place by letting go now having awareness no i'm not going to deal with this situation from ego or I'm not allowing that person in because their energy really brings me down i love this person I'm not going to disagree with this person, but I can't have them in my life because I'm having to put myself first. Having the strength to make these boundaries, you have been on this journey and it's like showing, you know, it, it, you're, you're feeling good about this. Now you've put them in place. Emotions, look deep within your emotions. Yeah, so deep emotions. And we do avoid those deep emotions, um, but feeling those deep emotions has is what has given you the strength to actually place these boundaries, to actually let go of things that no longer serve you. Because you've found 
that that the negative that negativity that toxicity has been buried within you you know those lower dense emotions you have been facing those going deep within and that's what's given you the strength and maybe more emotions could you know be coming up but you're open to this this week. You're not frightened of these deep emotions of going deep within. You're taking responsibility when things are happening with disagreements or whatever. If some if somebody says something and you you you, you know there's still a little bit of a bite where you want to attack. You're deal with, you're dealing with it yourself, not viewing the other person as wrong. You're correcting what's going on within you making healthy boundaries as well with those thoughts and, and not to do this self-sabotaging anymore openness you're going to be open and not um closed off and at times we do feel as if we're open and that we're ready to receive abundance and you know you know i'm ready and you know we think, well, why is nothing showing up for me? That's because there is so many deep emotions that we haven't dealt with. And it's creating this block because it's what we're radiating out into the universe. We've had this layer over our heart. We haven't felt as if we can have an open heart because we're feeling as if we've got to protect ourselves in, you know, with these disagreements. Huh. So this week I feel as everything is going to be made clear and life is going to be flowing so much better because of the awareness of this peace that you're putting in place, you're, you're arriving this week. <laughs> arriving back home. And it's time to celebrate that. <laughs> so that's really wonderful news. Um, I'm going to see what comes through, what you're divine feminine would love to share and express to you divine masculine if you're a divine masculine that's watching because i do do this you know energy as one because you are one energy but these are the, the, the messages from your twin flame and this is from the divine feminine to the divine masculine and then i'll do the same for the divine feminine's you know messages from the divine masculine so it's a bit of a mouthful what is it that your divine feminine would love to share and express divine masculines and there will be a df to dm and a dm to df that goes up later and that's just for today's energy um, but this is for the week what's going to be coming through or the 30th of october to the 5th of november 2023 nice clear message please my stomach's kicking off guys seven of swords i'm trying to forgive you so divine feminines you know with disagreements Moving away from this seven of swords, deception, denying themselves, because that's what happens when we can't forgive, when we can't um, let go. We're just, we're just, it's just deceiving ourselves. It's, we're, we're in denial. We're denying love because we're in that low vibration. And there may be something that you've done, Divine Masculine, that's really stood out and your Divine Feminine's like, I'm, you know, really practising this forgiveness. And again, forgiveness, uh, I think, come out in yesterday's reading. Eight of Pentacles, I'm learning everything I can about this journey. Yeah, I'm learning everything I can about this journey. And I know that if I can't forgive, I'm not getting anywhere. I've got to make peace. I've got to show up for myself. Um, That was a bit... Feisty. I feel what you feel and it makes me sorry I feel what you feel and it keeps me awake so your divine feminine is, is saying that they can feel you and they're going to be really feeling you this week and maybe some sleepless nights as well so I'm very interested to see what the divine masculine wants to share to the divine feminine as well but let's see what's at the bottom of the deck I'm leaving the past behind yeah I'm leaving the past behind that's why it's important that I forgive you, Divine Masculine. I'm learning everything. I'm taking responsibility of myself. And I'm learning so much about this journey every single day. I'm open 
to receive this sacred knowledge of what this journey is all about. And I'm understanding, you know, it isn't just about you, Divine Masculine, and that I've really got to let go and forgive. And I can feel you when you're distressed, when you're having these disagreements with yourself, it keeps me awake. And maybe this week the Divine Feminines are going to have, you know, their sleep interrupted. But with, that does happen again when, when we're around the moon cycles. But sometimes we're like, I just can't sleep. You're meant to be, there's a reason for you to be awake, Divine Feminines, if you're wondering, you know, why it is that you can't sleep. And I feel again, Divine Feminines are moving away from this struggle because of the responsibility and how the Seven of Swords, this deception, and their life was just so difficult coming from being in their heads. And the Swords is about a head. So let's see what the Divine Masculine would love to share and express this week of the 30th of October to the 5th of November, 2023. What is it? The Divine Masculine would love to show and express to the Divine Feminine. Nice clear message for these masculines. Six of Swords. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know that better times are ahead. Yeah, I know that better times are ahead. Um, and if you think, you know, we've got six, seven, eight, nine. Momentum coming through in this reading also. Things are picking up. And the Divine Masculines are seeing the light. And the more you're focusing on yourself, Divine Feminines, hmm. taking this responsibility, that is supporting your Divine Masculine because you are the spiritual leader. But the Divine Masculines are seeing the light, showing up for themselves. Ace of Pentacles, great things are being created in our lives, yeah. Because we've changed our perception, because we've been through this purification, three of cups prepare for celebration, yeah, rejoice. Really showing up the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminines this week. And at the bottom of the deck is Page of Pentacles. I'm growing up because of our connection. Yeah, I've really had to grow up. I've had this spiritual growth. And it's all because of you coming into my life, Divine Feminines. And I understand so much about what this journey is now. Before it used to confuse me. I didn't know what was happening to me. But I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I know that things are working out for me and I know things are going to be improving for me for the rest of my life because I know that I'm the creator of my life. And it's about my vibration of what's going on within me. And it took me quite a time to actually understand that. But I'm getting this now and I'm great. I'm creating great things and it's going to be for our future, for our, for our lives together and prepare for this celebration because we are coming together and I did mention about your twin flame with the arrival but again when you're when there is an arrival of you beautiful soul that's you know that is your twin because you are your twin flame but for some of you there may be some physical meet up celebration and rejoicing celebrating because of what you've worked through and where you're at <laughs> Um, right now, uh, which is you're moving into peace because you found that peace within you. You're still learning, you're still working through things, but as I say, it's the awareness that changes everything. So I'm sorry, I'm using beautiful uh, Lizzie's deck to see what the update you need to know, you know, what God, universe, higher power wants you know, need to know for this week. Nice, clear message. What's coming through? What is it the beautiful soul needs to know for this week of the 30th to the 5th of November 2023? Your twin flame journey is protected and this love is bigger than the physical world. It's a spiritual higher love connected to source and expanded through time. You have a higher purpose and a mission here on earth. Step out of your ego fears and concerns and start to see the bigger picture. There is more than just a physical 3D love. Allow the angels to help you to see with the eyes of love and your perception will shift and change. And that's what you are doing. Beautiful soul that's watching. 
um, your, your, your understanding what this twin flame journey is because of everything that's coming through and let go. Letting go does not mean, which we've got here over here as well, underneath the Seven of Swords. Letting go does not mean move on as you can never move on from your true twin flame. It means to let go of the struggle, the doubt, the fear, focus on the love and allow the universe to take care of the rest. When you start to focus on your life, everything will start to fall into place. So you will be, you're letting go this week of the 3D fear, the ego. And you, yeah, which is creating freedom for yourself. Um, and you know, letting go of those thoughts, that thought pattern, and just the things that you've been doing for, for over and over again and not getting anywhere. Standing up, arriving, and putting a stop to this by letting go, surrendering, stepping up, stepping in <laughs> to your power which you've already stepped into, but you found it within you by being in this journey, by different things that have happened. Moving away from this deception, moving away from the head, the struggle, holding your head in your hands, you know, all of that, <laughs> and showing up. So I hope you have an amazing week because it sounds like it's going to be very interesting what's come through for this reading and... Um, I hope you're excited about coming into the month of November as well. Um, make sure you look out for that reading, like I said at the beginning. And if you would like extra support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying?